To use Zoom Meetings, you must have and use the Google Chrome browser. Here is how to install the Google Chrome browser. First, open up your Internet Explorer or Firefox, and you want to do a search for Google Chrome. The first one that comes up is going to be the official Chrome. Just go ahead and click it. Next, hit Download to Chrome. And de-click the Set Google as my default browser and to help Google Chrome. Accept and install. After installation finishes, you can go back to Internet Explorer or Firefox and close that browser. Go ahead and expand the Google Chrome browser. This browser is necessary for all Skype type calls as they use Google, and you have your Google button now on your desktop. Go to the Settings button, scroll down to the bookmarks, and choose Show Bookmark Bar. There you can drag down your bookmarks as you use them and save them as you do in Internet Explorer. Now to install Zoom Meetings, you want to open up your email using the Google Chrome browser. You simply go to your email client. Mine happens to be Gmail. Go ahead and sign in. Open up the email that's an invitation to Zoom Meetings. And simply click on the blue Zoom Meeting link. The first time you're going to have to download a small program. So go ahead and hit the launcher at the bottom left and then choose Run. After installation, your Zoom meeting will start, but needs to be activated by clicking the Join Audio Conference by Computer. Click the green button. Now double check that your camera and microphone are both turned on. On the bottom left, you'll see a mute microphone and a mute camera button. You can turn them on and off alternatively. If you want to share your screen, hit the green Share Screen button. You can decide which desktop screen you'd like to share. Just click it and hit Share Screen. Your screen will now be viewable to other viewers on the other end. To stop, simply hit your Stop Screen Sharing button. It'll take you back to the regular screen. And now you can choose which view you'd like to see, whether it's a speaker view, a gallery view, or a split view. Once you're finished, click the red Leave Meeting button and then the blue Leave Meeting button. This will end the meeting, and that's all there is to it. One final note, on subsequent visits, you won't have to go through the whole process. Simply click the link in your email and choose Remember My Choice for all of links of this type and click Launch Application. From now on, subsequent meetings, all you have to do is click on the blue link and it'll automatically open up. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.